I want to see one to run. I want to see one to run Doom on a on a potato PC. We're going to be taking a look at. We're going to be taking a look at. At ways of playing Doom on Linux. If you happen to be running Linux. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty Assaultus, with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about, um, different ways of playing Doom on Linux, and without further ado, let's uh, get into the video. So the first thing that I wanted to show off is something that I've already shown off before, and that is... DOSBox. Now, DOSBox, for those of you who don't know what that is, is an emulator. Now, more specifically, I'm going to be showing you DOSBox X, of which I will show you where, where you can get it from. It doesn't always load. At least, at least. The one I think I got off of the Snap app doesn't always like to load. It just takes a while. There's some you can I think you can compile it, and it and it also loves to crash. This this the Snap version loves to crash for whatever reason on Garuda. So I might have to compile it at some point. So, oh yeah, it does this. And so we've got our games here. So now we're in C. So let's load, um, so you can play, you can also use the Boom and, and, uh, Marine's Best Friend MBF source ports in, uh, DOSBox. So let's, uh, go to, um, let's, let's choose, choose Doom. Let's choose Doom. Load the setup utility. Turn my mic off. Once I show you how to do all of this, we do general MIDI. Why not? Sound Blaster. And so let's go through the sound card setup. Select your Controls, edit your controls. So this is basically how you would uh, change your controls, and and this is also the same way with with Duke Nukem 3D as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
So what if you want to play this on, um, what if you want to play, want to play Doom on, um, on, on something other than DOSBox? Like, like, you play it natively within, actually natively within, within Linux. Just like you can with Windows. Well, here's, let me introduce you to source ports. And I would the specific source port that I'm going to be going to be using is um called it's called Wolf. It's called Wolf. Gotta say it um and this source port you can see its features what it uh comes with and see its feature list. It even supports BFG edition wads. So that's nice. It's got some compatibility layers. So you can read the relevant information. So this is kind of neat and quite quite useful to know. And then you can see the history of it. Like Wolf started development in December eleventh on December eleventh of twenty nineteen when Fabian Grefferath in a uh, Doom World thread titled "When When MFB Goes Sixty Four Bit." See, this is based. This source port is based on Win MFB. Which was based on MFB or, or 
is based on win MBF. I mean, rather, I mean, win MBF and um, which was based on MBF, <clears throat> which was based on Boom, which you saw me load Boom on that old laptop. Well, all th Boom, um, MBF, and Win MBF are some of the earliest solo sports are some some of the earliest Doom source ports. Also, um, the source port, um, also Z Doom is is among is also among one of the earliest. The longest and these are like the longest running code bases, particularly a Boom. Like Boom is a very big legacy here. So. <clears throat> He basically titled it "When MBF Goes 64-Bit," <clears throat> mentioned in a uh, post to have to have started my own branch to achieve 64-bit compatibility. Meanwhile, these first builds still carried the the Win MBF moniker, starting with 0.9.0. .0 through this post, the port changed to its current name. It required the libraries shipped with Fabian's other port, Crispy Doom, which I believe is also another one that work, should work with Linux. After receiving enough feedback, Fabian then officially announced Wolf version 1.0.0. .0. In a uh, Doom World thread titled, This is Wolf 1.0.0, February 28, 2020. Updated uh, WinMBF. So, where do you get it then? Well, let's uh, go to their, their GitHub. We'll just go to their GitHub. And so we're going to go first go here we're going to download the source code and you can see a bunch of different things here this is kind of nice and we're going to go down to here so this even will work with like sigil I should do the master levels wad. Try and find that one. But as you saw the compatibility layers. And so on Linux we're going to um we're going to Compile the source code, so I'm going to extract it. Here and of course I got wolf wolf. So this is the current version. So what we're going to do we got the CMake list. <coughs> I'm going to load my console. Load my uh, terminal. <coughs> we can see my version of uh, Windows. <coughs> my hardware is. Go to Wolf Wolf. But you can download the <coughs> code there. I should, you should have, I should have that on here. We're going to make, we're going to make a build directory.
teammate. Hmm. Hmm, so we're gonna, if we don't happen to have this. January. Yeah, that one's more up to date. And so it'll download what we need. Why? So if you don't happen to have this. So we will finally have make. Of course we don't have, of course we can't. So we might try that one if that one's not working, we'll try that one. That one wasn't working. Let me try this one. So now, let's see what's going on here. So as it says, you will need to install the SDL2. So we don't have those, so we can look for those. Um, so let's 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 see if we can in, see if see if we can just install those, so we don't have them on here. What I'm going to do is, since I'm running um, an Arch base. I'm going to install, see if I can install these, but I'm going to see if I can find out how to install these on Arch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to Arch Linux. And so in CMake, and so what we can do is we can look for this stuff, and I'll pause it for right now. And so and so now that I have figured out how to do the SDL stuff, let's get back to to the video. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to go, going to go find, uh, let's see if I can find the directory after having to figure out wolf cd build. So now we're going to build C make make and I will link to where 
you can find uh, where you can find uh, where, where you can not just find the um, SDL2 developers dependencies but also on how to install them so let's build see find see this is actually going to be a little bit hard at first to figure out a lot of this stuff but after a while it shouldn't be that hard it should be a little bit easy to figure it out and so it should compile and so now it should be um so now I should be, be able to go here wolf wolf source this is the source file, source code. Is it going to be in build? So it's right here. Wolf and Wolf setup. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to, um, I'm going to go to home because that's where I've got my games directory in. I'm going to call this directory Doom or the ultimate or I'm going to call it Doom or the ultimate. I'll call this one the ultimate Doom. The ultimate Doom. Call the next one. Doom to hell on earth and I'll call the next one TNT evolution Call the next one the Plutonia X Plutonia experiment. Now these are the games that, and you know what? We're gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna easily just copy this one to Ultimate Doom. A copy. This one to Ultimate Doom. And then we'll just copy these to the different folders. Now, there's also Z Doom. There's also, there's also GZ Doom that you can use. And I should already have my, 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 my Doom games in here. I'm going to copy this to my TNT Evolution folder. Plutonia. Plutonia. We're going to Plutonia Experiment. And see, that's pretty much... I should have, uh, where is it? Doom SC. We're going to, and yeah, this should work with certain old versions of Doom as well. This will go into Ultimate Doom. And then Doom 2. Now, I should have a sound font pack. In Doom 2, where is Doom 2? Doom 2.wad. This may not work. 
Then we have to go through and rename these to um to be a little bit so that way they're not capital because it may not find them. So I'm going to, I'm going to go where my sound fonts are. GZ Doom sound fonts. Because I actually um, have an entire massive sound font collection. So I'm going to go to um, the Arachno um, sound font. I thought, why not? I will link to those, both these, those in the description. Now, I doubt that this is going to start up. So this should be a pretty large collection of sound fonts. And so now that it is copied into that folder, let's do it into this folder. And this actually is a Yamaha XG synth sound font. I don't know how good it is compared to an MU80 or or something like that, but here's a bunch of. But I actually compiled this this sound font collection for use with uh, Z Doom or G Z Doom, and you can and I think you can also compile G Z Doom and get that working on uh, Linux. But I'm not going to do a video on how how to do that. I'm just going to show you. An example of a source port that I feel is probably better than GZ Doom. I'm going to close that down because I don't need that open anymore. Copy these in here. This is, will give us. This will give us a collection of sound fonts. There's even an OPL3 sound font in here if you ever want to fork around with that. I always, I always, I always like including different sound fonts. So, so we're extracting the different files so that way we have. Right take my shirt off because I I want to feel more comfortable and it's this is this hot in my room I keep going copy these and then the next thing that we're going to do in the case of Doom 2 and um Ultimate Doom. So, in the case of these, now we should have our sound fonts in here that we're going going to use or we the sound fonts that we may want to use have some variety have the arachno sound font in here 
So I'm going to do some load up. Uh, I'm going to close down the terminal because we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to load up. And we're going to do the next thing. I should uh, have like sigil in here somewhere. So I'll have to find it. Find it in here. Have to find it in here. And it should be down at the bottom here. Oh, oh, look. Pure boom. But, but we're not really going to want to play around with that. But we should have. Sigil down here registered a registered copy of and so what I'm going to do I'm only going to copy this in here and then I'm going to show you how how to get So the first thing we're going to want to do is click on tools. And click on that. We're going to click on tools. And then we should be able to find Proton. Install the latest version of Proton. Which install the latest version of Proton, which currently is 7.0. Then you go up here, and we should go to Deem 3 BFG Edition. Now, this is for No Rest for the Living. You get that. You can also get that through the Unity port, but we're not going to do that one. But we'll do this one. So we'll install this. This They should have put this on Linux, by the way. I wish that they had actually put BFG Edition on Linux. Like, they missed the perfect opportunity to port this to Linux. To port all this to Linux. So, that way at least you could play, a, you could theoretically play a version of the game on Linux. So, you know, that's one of the things that I, I like. Um... So this should uh, download um, our No Rest for the Living. And I'll pause it for right now, pause the video, and wait for it to download. And, and so it should now be um, downloaded. Now I'm going to go, we're going to go here. But I'm also going to be downloading another thing. That is not going to be, that is optional, but I would highly recommend doing it. And that is, and that is to download. And that is the download. Uh, a particular p music pack for No Rest for the Living. And so, so now I have the file that I was looking for. I'm going to just copy that in here. Let's load Wolf setup. Let's let's try Doom Two. And see, take a look at what that is. That seems to be the multiplayer. So we've got, we got, so this is kind of cool. I'm finally able to run D1.
Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna sh show you um, show you how to get the music working, and I'll show you um, um, and I'll show you how to get if, how to get um. Uh, so I'm gonna load iWAD. iWAD. We're gonna space that one out. iWAD doom. And we're going to. I'm gonna copy this one. But we're gonna load. File. We got the IWAD. Now we're gonna do the PWAD. Uh, nerve. Dot WAD. Dot WAD. Let's load. Oh wow! You can actually download them. You can actually download the uh, wolf. I did not realize you could actually download wolf from the um. So which one's most? That's so that. Uh, oh, I did not know that. So let we can just download it. We can also just run it that way. We can also run it that way, but you, know, you can download the repository. It's like, oh, I did not know that. I really did not know that they had a Linux binary. So let's try that again.
find that window buttons thing. OPL3 isn't that good. The OPL3 on my my uh, Gateway Solo 2500 is better than that. And and that and that uh, and that Gateway Solo 2500 laptop that you saw at the beginning of this video isn't isn't even a um, is um is is actually one of those doesn't even have like a Yamaha chip it has a it has a something made by Neo Magic called the Neo Magic Magic Sound and it's a really good approximation of um of OPL3 much better than than what's on this source port so it kicked out an error I wonder what it doesn't have the fluid synth sound for it. But this is not this is not Doom Two. We're gonna have to go here. And we're gonna to have to open up a different directory because I think it automatically looks for
So we're gonna load, um... Or just rename that to Doom. Name that to Doom. Use simple names. And we're gonna load, um... We're gonna load Wolf. I wad mm, dot w a d file Hmm, so I don't think I'm able to run that on here. Interesting. So I have to use a different sigil file. But let's try running Doom. I think the compat will work. That's another way of actually slaying wolf. And then you basically select your P wolf, your I Y you want to run, and your P wall.
So, so let, I'm gonna see if I can get Sigil working. So let's try this out. So sigil doesn't work. Hmm. Well, 
So they lied. So let's figure this one out. At least let's figure the sound out. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to... Dot local. Wolf. So maybe the sound font might work. Maybe the sound font might work here. And maybe Citrum is not compatible. So I might might have figured out how to get the MIDI working. So what I have to do is I'm going to have to copy this. And I'm probably gonna delete is that this has to go into a specific directory. Or just stick it in there, try it try it this time. been able to get the work so yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it but since we can just load all the doom wads why not just load all the doom wads from why not load all the doom wads from one folder And just use this one folder. It's like, eh. Not really gonna hurt much. It makes it a lot easier. I mean, it's like. Delete. So I just felt like, what the heck, well, why the heck not? Why, why the heck not just copy them in one folder? It's like, you know, you know what? That just makes it a lot easier. It simplifies the whole thing. Like, this is a learning experience for, for me. Of all people. So, I had to compile the, first I had to compile... I went through all this to compile the SDL2 packages, but then had to go and and essentially um and then I find out you can just download Wolf through through um through Pac-Man. Yeah. Wonderful. Let's just do C D Noom. Let's try another one. Plutonia. Let's just load a WAD file from that. It still wants to use the SDL. I don't know why it just wants to.
And you can just load in the command line. Just tell it to find your doom files. I mean, that's a really nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, that sucked. Man, that sucked. Yeah, I... And at least now you know how to load Wadfly... Know how to get, um... Another way of getting a uh, wolf on here. Which is really interesting. And that is until next time. Peace out, everyone.